Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. I hope you'll stick around. So subscribe to this channel for more videos and give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Check the description box below for important links like where to find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you're not already following me on those social media sites, you might want to because I do all of my extra vape stuff giveaways over there. I do not do them here on YouTube. It's not allowed. You can also chat with me every day on Twitter and you can get a sneak peek into my daily life all day long on Instagram story because I post there all day every day. And don't forget to check the description box below for my second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos. I upload there twice a week. So if you want to see what else I bring to the internet land, you can check that out. And I do have a Patreon account, which is vape related monthly rewards. So you can get e-liquid mods, etc., sent to you monthly from yours truly, depending on what tier you join. So check out the description box. And um, <clears throat> I am a little under the weather today but i've been so consistent with uploading videos for you guys and i promised this company i would have their video out this week so i wanted to do this video for those reasons and you know just <laughs> take it easy tomorrow i'll probably upload a blooper video but i'm gonna do two videos today that i i gotta get up because i promised the companies they'd be up and i'm not gonna not have videos up because I've been so consistent and it is helping out my channel to be consistently uploading again as you guys know 2018 was a roller coaster for me. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you get notified whenever I upload. YouTube does not like vaping so they are demonetizing everyone's videos and suppressing their reach so we don't get any views and our channels are being like choked to death. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. So today we have the EQs. EQS EQs from Inakin. You can vape regular e-liquid in here. You can vape Nick salts in here and you can also vape a different type of e-liquid that will remain nameless because YouTube doesn't like that either. And this little device uses the 3D mesh coils. Ooh. It comes in a few different colors. I do have the white and gold one here. It's like a pearl finish. That is actually sexy. Look at that. That is a nice looking pod. So let me open the accessories box. And you know what I'm seeing here? I hope no. It looks like it's only coming with one pod, which is a downside because you want it to have at least two so that if the one you get is a dud, you have another one. So we've got a micro USB to USB cable, a little quick start guide, these colorful stickers, I don't know what they're for yet, warnings and safety booklet, warranty card, and a little battery guide informational. So you do need to take the pod off, which holds two mils of e-liquid and pull off this piece that says remove. And then it also says push to open. So I don't know, cause there's a protective little cap on the pod and it says push to open, but that's not working for me. Pull, pulling it off works. I do like the dust cap for sure. Here is the contact and it is a Plex 3D 0.48 ohm and the rechargeable battery is 800 milliamp hour. I guess the little sticker could be for like right here if, if you wanted to put a sticker on the fire button. I don't know why you'd want to. To fill the pot, it's super easy. You just spin this and you can fill it in there. And then you spin it back. You can fill it on either side. So I'm gonna fill it right now just to get it going. I'm filling it with Cloud Kiss. This is a strawberry cake batter flavor. It's my flavor. It's available in 100 ml bottles. It's a 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol blend. And you can use my code TIA20 for 20% off your order at usvapeco.com. And you can actually get 20% off any flavor that they offer on usvapeco.com. And yes, Bonsai Vapor is now usvapeco.com. So we're gonna let that soak and I'll tell you a little bit about the battery. It clicks to the fire button, turns it on. And it does the red, green, yellow disco light. And that is also a battery. When it's green, it's good to go. When it's yellow, it's about halfway. And when it's red, you need to charge it. So right now we're at green. So it does have three different power settings and to toggle through the different ones, you need to have it off first. So one, two, three, turns it off and then you press and hold the fire button for three seconds and the little triangle down there will light up the different power mode. Okay, so that's the high one, 15.5. 
it'll toggle through. See, green, blue, and purple. And then whichever one you want, you just let go when it is that color. And we want it on 15.5 because, hey, that's the highest. Green is 11.5 and blue is 13.5. Here is the connections for the pod and the little battery. It says Inikin here at the bottom. Very nice. Fire button, indicator light, EQS on the back, and the charge port. I really like this pearly finish. So I 100% expect these to be like for your fire button, but why the f would you want to put one of these on your fire button? All right, hopefully vaping this. Yeah, you do have to push the um, fire button. It is not draw activated. <coughs> oh my God. Vaping while sick is just like not is there anyone out there that vapes when they're sick or are you mostly like me and you don't vape when you're sick because it just doesn't feel good? I'm doing mouth to lung vapes with this because it's a lot easier to do while my throat hurts. I mean, I could attempt direct to lung, but I don't know how well that's gonna go over. <coughs> Clouds, bitch. <coughs> I like this, and you know what? Like everyone says, pods are all pretty much the same, so then it just comes down to like your personal style, and this is freaking fancy. The cap is a plus because I put my pods in my purse and there's like other crumbs and stuff in my purse. It does suck that you can't just like take the cap off, the whole pod comes out, so you have to take the pod out and then the cap off, but like, small peas. I just tried to vape with the cap on. But tell me that's not like the cutest little, fanciest little pod. It's futuristic looking. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. It comes in other colors. I'm sure you can get it at directvapor.com. I need to blow my nose. I want to see like what the biggest vape I can take off this is. It's not why I'm sick though. No. Don't worry. You guys will see this again in my Battle of the Pods video because look at all those pods I got. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.